Hello and welcome to the Audulous Build Podcast. My name is Mark Boyd and today we are going to be making a simple attack release envelope. First let's create a patch and then enter the patch. And then we're going to add an ADSR node. Because this is an attack release envelope, we don't need any decay, so let's turn that down. And we're going to turn the sustain all the way up. Now I'm going to create two knobs here, and I'm going to delete the name on the knob, because I like to put the name inside of the knob. Uh, I'm going to copy and paste that one, and then I attach from the attack and the release. Uh, if you set them a little differently, you can tell which one is which when you pop outside of the module without having to label them. Uh, now I'm going to label the name, that's the A for attack, and then R for release. Uh, there we go. And I'm going to put the input, input for the gate, and you, I do these things really quickly sometimes where I'm just, I open up uh, the, the name of it and then I just quickly hit delete, and then that's how I'm, that's what's happening, just deleting the name. There we go. Copy and paste, adding the G for gate. Copy and paste that over there. M or uh, sorry, E for envelope. I'm adding a light. There we go. Expose. Add a RGB light. Attach that to the R input. And I'm going to add this one on the green so I can see it uh, when it's out in the front panel. Now, of course, add a title for the module. All right pop outside. Now here we're just going to arrange uh, things. I, I forgot to click edit UI, which you always have to do. There's the input. And the way I like making the modules is having the inputs and outputs at the top kind of across. So when you when you have a bunch of modules that are lined up, they'll, they'll all line up at the top edge of the module. Putting the gate, G for gate, inside of the symbol, and there's the E for the envelope. I can tell that one's the uh, gate light and there we go. So now you can see the lights are on top of uh, the the letters. You can just really quickly uh, cut and paste the G and that will bring it back on top. Cut and paste the E. See, now they're back on top. And I'm going to delete the one there. And now that's, that's it. That's the whole module. Lock UI. And I'll create a MIDI trigger here. Put that in. And uh, waveform. So you can see the output. Whoops, there you go. All right. And here is your attack release envelope. All right, so when we finish a module, we always go up and clear the history. And then go to the patch metadata, enter the author name, Bimini Road in this case, envelope, and a short little description so people can and figure out what, what's going on. Press OK. And then save. Here I'm saving it in my iCloud drive so it'll appear uh, automatically in uh, across all my devices. Yeah. All right, let's take a look at this patch in action. I posted this patch at the forum. You can go to forum.audulous.com to download it. And while you're there, you can ask questions, collaborate, post your own patches. It's a great place to meet up with other Audulous users. Uh, if you have uh, any questions or want to uh, make a request for a build video, email me at mark at audulous.com. That's M-A-R-K at audulous.com. And also, please leave us a five-star review in the Mac and iOS stores. Those reviews really help us out, and we love reading your nice comments that you leave below. So keep them coming. Thanks, happy patching, everyone, and I'll see you next time.